At Vleeming, we build differently and with exceptional quality, and I want to take a minute to explain how we get there. So I'll start with this sample right here, this mock-up we have of an ICF foundation. So everyone's familiar with their traditional concrete foundation, which is a concrete wall that comes down, connects to a footing, and you have a concrete floor that connects to that. That is just purely a lot of heat loss that's out of that kind of building structure versus what we have here. So I'll explain the components from the bottom working up. So this is illustrating a concrete footing with its rebar in it. Then this is illustrating ICF blocks. So ICF is insulated concrete forms. So what they are doing is they're replacing the traditional forming methods for a concrete foundation wall. Traditionally, you form a concrete wall with some plywood. This is using permanent forms that are styrofoam, so it creates your permanent insulation. So we stack these blocks like Lego and then fill it with concrete. And so what you end up with is 2.75 inches of insulation inside, 2.75 inches of insulation outside, giving you about an R24 for an insulation value. Another step that we take is wherever there's a window in that foundation wall is we put an insulated buck. So instead of using a traditional wood buck, which again is just heat loss, we put a styrofoam insulated buck that is meant for the block. So again, we create that thermal break. Down here at the floor, concrete floor in your basement. So this is illustrating the concrete floor that's in the basement. One thing that we also do that's not common practice is we put rebar in our basement concrete floors. Then below that we have styrofoam. And again, the styrofoam are generally about four inches thick and it's continuous over the footing connecting to the ICF. So we have that continuous blanket of insulation. As we move up the wall here, this is the top of the foundation wall. So if, if we are transitioning to wood frame construction at that standpoint, we start with a mud sill plate put on top. We intentionally leave this plate narrower than what the actual wall is. And the reason for that is, is later we're gonna add spray foam insulation that just comes down here and connects to this ICF to get that continuous insulation again.